I took the lifeline symbol and distorted it in, in Photoshop. Originally I was going to tell the there are a lot of really sort of interesting and funny stories um, from the people who, who were present in the shop on the day. <coughs> and um, when, we went to, when we spoke to um, Scott, he sort of said, you know, there was too much to put, and I, and I agree, there was too much to put in, in, you know, to fit in within the confines of the, the piece. Um, so, I just changed the tape completely. I couldn't, I couldn't preference one story over another, to, because to me they're all equally valid. You know, each person, person's perception. So I sort of <coughs> went more along the lines of, of the business, but it's, it's sort of symbolic as well as representational. Here I was planning on using um, so the smashed safety glass because the force of the water actually smashed the front um, doors. Um, and the lady said that there were um, actual there were whirlpools in the shop in the water. Um, so we've got that whirlpool. And then I then there's this the middle central one uh, that's the wave. That sort of represents with this one life on sort of riding the wave of the of the uh, event and coming through on the other side. This is, should probably be um, green tinted glass to represent when it is uh, the um, floodwaters came right to the uh, bottom of the window sill at the front of the shop. So that's just to represent where the, um, where the waters went to. I'll probably, uh, if I, um, and successful, I'll probably do some experimental tiles just to see what grout colour would be best. Like the wall where it's going is white. They're going to um, repaint it because it's got the old logo on it. And they're supposed to put um, the new logo on all of the shops, so it's, he said it's timely anyway. But he said that he would put it, um, place it, like paint the wall and place it, the logo and signage, sort of in the complimentary. It may not be exactly like that. I wanted to show how um, how how simple it's like simply cut shapes of glass could yeah. describe the water flow. Oh, I guess um, you've got to use glass. Yeah, to yeah. Do that. yeah. And I'll just um, cut the shapes. The blue shapes will just be individual shapes. And yeah. Just sort of random shapes for the glass. And I've got the safety glasses from an old windscreen of an old car. <laughs> so.